Once upon a time, it was exciting to be a part of the old analog mainstream media. I realize that may seem far-fetched, but bear with me, this is all fact-based. In 2002, I was the first person hired to help create what would eventually become Toro Magazine. Back in those days, long before Web 2.0, magazines were made of shiny paper and you could actually hold them in your hands. But what would happen if you were reading something cool and wanted to send it to a friend? Well, that was problematic. Unless, of course, your friend was standing 10 to 12 feet away. Hey, you should read this. Remember, this was back in 2003. Additionally, it's important to note that online magazines are relatively cost efficient to run. Here, for example, is what it cost NASA to operate the Human Spaceflight Program in 2003. And, as you can see by the overlay chart, in that same fiscal year, Toro Magazine's print version had identical operating costs, six billion, $143,800,000. Then there's distribution. This, the online version of Toro Magazine, has instant and affordable access to a global audience. On the other hand, the print version of Toro was primarily available in Canada and, even more limiting, delivered by dog sled. The old Toro's only fault, really, is that it, like the entire print industry, is 200 years out of date. Either way, we now turn the page on the turning of pages. It's 2008. We click through our magazines.